Hey guys, Fox here, FXRC, and I'm here with my latest project, the Traxxas X Max. Dun 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 dun, X Max. I was reluctant, honestly, to get this because, uh, I mean, a lot of my rigs, RCs, are, are 10 to 8 scale. Um, and it's just where I live, there's not a lot of places to even bring RC cars, let alone such a large one. Um, I know they claim was six scale, maybe fifth scale. I doubt it's a fifth scale, but maybe six scale anyway. It's still, it's, it's pretty big. Pretty big RC. Um, but I, I mean, I'm glad I did. Now, why did I choose this over say maybe the Creighton 8S? And you know, I don't know. I just I have a, I have a 6S Creighton, and I felt like the 8S was just kind of a larger version of that. And I wanted something something different, and and this definitely fit the bill. It is is definitely a different truck, so uh, much more monster trucky, I guess you could say, than than the flat chassis uh, Armas. So. I went with this. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I did it. It's, as far as as far as uh, looks and if this thing gets, uh, I mean a 10. I mean look at how just mean and awesome this thing looks. So aggressive, so badass. So and it, I mean and it drives like that too. It just it drives like a monster truck in a lot of ways it's just it's very monster trucky so went with the green because i don't really have any green rcs and, and there's something about it just really popped i mean look at it it's beautiful you know now honestly the i did reinforce this body with quite a bit of uh with a hot glue and um but i still i'm not planning on running this i do have I do have a, I want to say, what is it? Like? It must be a version two hop, uh, uh, version two unbreakable body. So, which is the, which is the Ford Raptor version. So, actually I wanted the new version, which I believe is the, the Chevy Silverado. So, but when I ordered, after I ordered it, they had, email me that they are no longer have those um and won't be getting them for quite a few weeks and if it was okay if they sent me a f version two so i'm not one to like to wait so i just said sure why not now i slightly regret it because it seems that this body is maybe uh just uh, i want to say maybe a few millimeters shorter uh, from wheelbase to wheelbase than than whatever this body is because the actual mounts um, don't necessarily line up I don't know if you can tell see but it comes and, and this should be going to this screw and it doesn't it actually comes out further so I had to remount and just drill a hole and re redo it there so I mean I, I got it to work um, you know, it still still pops off, but so does this, um, which is uh, hey, something I I love the idea of the the clip the you know the clipless body mounts this one handed, but for some reason why they can't get it to not pop off and and I find it hard to believe that in their testing with these that their bodies don't fly off when they crash sometimes and it doesn't happen every time um maybe once every i don't know 10 crashes average i guess the body will fly off um and i guess that's just something you gotta have to get used to with uh an x max or really probably i mean traxxas vehicles in general with that clipless body mount i don't know why they can't seem to figure get that where it works without 
flying off every once in a while, but what can you do? Maybe, maybe I can figure out some kind of mod or something to uh, maybe get that inside there, to some kind of latch there so that it makes it a lot harder for it to pop off, but who knows. What are you gonna do? Still awesome, awesome truck, so get the body off, get the tires off, show you what I did. Now with the body and the wheels off, you can get a good sense of the actual modifications that were done. There's quite a bit. I, I mean, I didn't go, I didn't go crazy, I guess, with this one. There's, there's still a lot of stuff I probably could have done. Uh, a lot of aftermarket parts that are out there. Um, I, I don't know if they're all necessary. I kind of went with like just what I felt was necessary, so, um, or at least to make this as badass as possible. So, I guess we start out with the electronics, and we got the Castle Mamba Monster X8S. This is an amazing ESC. Um, I've had a, a few now, and I just I've had really good luck with them. Uh, really good, everything except the fans. The fans are just they're terrible. You can see I got a, a, a WTF fan in there now. Um, trying that out and see if maybe that'll break a little less easy. Because I tell you what, the stock fans in these, uh, if you fart next to the thing, the, the blades will break. They, they just break so easy. But uh, the replacements are cheap. I, you get them for like 10 bucks, maybe, maybe less than that. Cheap, but I mean, you see I've gone through quite a bit. Cause they just just break them and so I'm trying trying some other stuff. We'll see if it works. So good good ESC though. If all I gotta worry about is it are bad fans, then it's not really that big a deal. So and then powering also is the Castle 2028 800 kV monster of a motor censored. Um, you know I don't know if it's that important to have a censored motor on a on a basher but this one is so why not i got a couple uh the castle fans cooling them down you know and it's funny too uh i think i've gone through two of the castle fans in this same esc but neither one of these fans are broken so i don't know what the at the they seem like looks like the same fan so i don't know it's weird but anyway the castle fan 2028 Awesome, awesome motor. And I got the W uh, w, um, WFO motor mount there, and the the mod 1.5 spur and pinion, and these are the, the D uh, D something. The the grooving is is a D shape, so it just makes it so it can't spin around the. Now this one, I did have a 23, this is a 35 uh, spur, and I did have a 23 tooth pinion. Um, they're hard to get them through, through, the, through the WFO uh, website. Uh, they just always sold out. Um, and at the time I could only get a 23, I think it was a 23, but it wasn't enough wheel speed. Um, and I just happened to have this 30 tooth um, pinion that was a mod 1.5 so I, I just threw this one in and I'm hoping now this will be a little bit better uh, and if it is I will get either another WFO or a better mod 1.5 because this one I don't I don't like this one it's it's way too bulky um, but who knows maybe it'll be amazing I haven't actually used it so but let's see what else do I got for power uh, servo for, so for the servo and it's it's kind of buried in there, so you can't really see it. But I got the Savox, uh, what is it, the 2290SG. And it's this one right here. Uh, this is just a monster, monster of a servo. And with the X-Max, because it has like these really specific uh, servo, that you can either have a few options, I guess. You can either go with the Traxxas servo, and they have an upgraded version, Traxxas Servo, 
that will fit in there uh but still really isn't that fast and that powerful and and, and i try to like i want it as extreme as possible so um that wasn't really an option for me so the other one is you can go to it uh you can do the eight scale mod where you um where you can actually put a smaller servo but yet still much more powerful and this this definitely fits the bill i don't think this is actually um waterproof but i'm not really planning on running through water it's incredibly powerful though i don't know if you can you can see that but at 8.4 volts uh this thing's like almost uh, nine like what 900 over 900 ounce inches of torque that's crazy crazy powerful and still it's pretty fast um now this bs bc on this uh esc only goes to eight um so uh i'm in between whatever the 7.4 and the 8.4 which i mean even at 7.4 this servo is almost 700 700 ounce inch of the torque that's crazy so um somewhere in between that which is more more than enough for this for this rig so um even with these big big heavy tires so <clears throat> what else let's see so uh, with the steering this is a lot of plastic when it comes to stock and this whole steering set assembly um and i don't know if it's just designed that way i think traxxas uses a lot of a uh just a lot a lot of plastic i'm trying to think of what actually is aluminum on the stock really probably not a lot um maybe the the shock shafts and the shot and and the actual shock bodies but what else is actually i mean they don't they do not use a lot of aluminum on their part on their rigs but as far as the steering assembly there's so much plastic and there's just so much give on these stock x maxes it's, it's insane um and which probably really does save the servo uh but uh, i mean i got a really powerful i know it can handle the servo and if not whatever but i i replaced the whole in assembly which is the the actual bell crank support and the whole steering assembly is all aluminum so i don't know if you can see but the gds is the the support and i believe the actual steering assembly is all atomic rc uh as well as the actual linkage there that connects it so and then of course an aluminum servo horn all coming out to the aluminum solid aluminum push rods uh oh and then i also went with atomic rc which is the aluminum the aluminum i don't know what they call them bell crank uh i don't know the whole steering it's all aluminum and then the, the front i went with the atomic but in the rear i went with hot racing uh the the hot racing for the front was was more expensive but um and the then the atomic rc atomic but didn't have the extra whereas the hot racing does have the extra um the extra bearing which is uh, an issue with the rears on these X Maxes. It was they have a problem with those rear bearings blowing out. So I think in this one just kind of it adds an extra bearing and it's just kind of reinforces it a little bit and gives you a little more gives you a little bit more bearing support, I guess. So that'll do. Uh, let's see what else I got. So I went with the the hot racing um, shock caps, which is a, an emulsion opposed to a bladder so which I, I i like that i i tend to, to like the emulsion over the bladder they seem to work a little bit better so but i guess in the long run we'll see so also i got all aluminum on the center supports here um to, and the idea is i'm trying to to get rid of some of that flex i know that's what saves these x maxes from really breaking is the flexibility but um I, I just want to try to get rid of some of it so i have all aluminum on the on the support up here which is also uh, by atomic rc and then i actually also have the aluminum uh case here which uh, i think this is important because especially with these big uh spur gear this is what actually holds it down and and having that aluminum really just kind of gives it a little bit more support i think so 
it seems to work out what else let's see uh let's see i got oh i got the rpm uh bumper mounts here which is the you know the rear and i got one in the front i got mixed uh say reviews like or from what i've seen saying that the rpms aren't actually even as strong as the stock and i still have the stock obviously um but we'll see and if they and if they do end up breaking so something i feel like it's too easy then we'll try something else but uh, they, they they held up for the testing on my test ramp so what else i also have the rpm arms i i have a whole set of the rpm arms for the for the front and the rear that i i decided not to put on see i got a whole box of rpm arms here for this and i just i decided not to put them on because i wanted to give these stock arms a, a chance to um because once again with the arm with, i've had i've heard mixed things some people some people say that the rpm aren't as strong as the stock and some say that the rpm are better so i'm giving the stock ones a shot and we'll see and then we'll move and then if they, and if they do break i got the rpms and i'll see if those work any better so we'll see i also got the aluminum hex adapters the hex are there which is uh, um that i feel like is a must i mean why not have that uh be i mean other than that you have the whole force of that going on just this i mean, composite hex that's that, that seems insane to me so aluminum there and then i got the captured hinge captured uh pins here from rpm i know you can get some from sen sen racing i think also have some that fit which have a bigger bolt maybe but these these were available so i got them and it's super cheap too now in the front you actually you have to you have to actually and i don't know if you can tell but you have to um embed it in otherwise you don't get enough clearance for when you turn uh, so you, you definitely you got to get that bolt to go in to i guess uh, what it's sunken into the actual arm there no what else what else you know i think i really think oh i got a I, I did put the aluminum got the aluminum diff diff uh outside casing there on front and rear so which is also by atomic rc let see in there which i you know and i went with atomic because it's kind of middle of the road for a price um they're not really crazy expensive i think there is some more expensive options but you know that's what I went with, so I'm sure they'll work out fine. If not, I'll let you know. So I think that is or should be about it for the upgrade. So let me take a good look. Oh, you know, I also got I put these uh I got these stainless skid plates on the bottom there so and, and once again the idea was that i'm trying to trying to stiffen it up a little bit so i know that if you, you would take some big air with these x max you come down you end up bending that center and drive sh shaft um and i know you could just jump it again and you just bend it back uh but my hopes is that stiffing it up a little bit will maybe help that so we'll see Maybe it's a waste of time, maybe not. It looks pretty cool, so it maybe it helps to start save some of that bottom from getting scuffed up pretty bad, so we'll see. I also got some of the, uh, uh, there's some aftermarket shock shafts, because, um, and I didn't put them in, and I probably should have, because when I was testing on my test ramps, that I did end up uh, bending uh, my rear, one of the rears, and um, I did replace that with the aftermarket uh it's just a traxxas uh tin here there just an aftermarket traxxas tin coated um i just re I, I should have replaced them all i guess but i just replaced the one that i did bend uh and well and i went back out and i haven't had problems since so i don't know if it's just because i landed wrong or what but it seemed to work uh now the, the stock i i 
with the motor and and all the aluminum, you, you're, I'm adding quite a, quite a bit of weight. M more of the motor than anything, I think. You just you're adding quite a bit of weight, and I, I felt like the the shocks weren't really holding up well for the weight of the vehicle. Which is so I did get a set of the uh, pink for the rear, the pink uh, springs that Traxxas has. Um, it's definitely it's definitely a stiffer spring. I don't know what the rate. I think it's like a 1.5 something rate on the on the rears. Um, and maybe I'll get one some stiffer ones for the front. But it was the rear, most of the weight kind of towards the back. So let's just see if that works. You know, uh, what else? I, I get these shock covers. I'm not crazy about them. I mean, they look kind of cool, I guess. But they're they're super thin. Um, dust still gets in it might help if like the rocks like banging on on the actual shock might save it from that but uh, as far as as far as anything else I don't know I don't think I would re recommend them like I said I mean they look kind of cool I guess but as far as like doing what they're they're kind of supposed to do I don't I don't think it does so there you go that's All right, guys. So this is, I guess, just my version of what I think an X Max can be. Uh, this there's so much for this truck that you can do. Um, the, a lot of stuff I I didn't choose to do. I just, I mean, probably not necessary. And some things are just kind of maybe for looks. Um, uh, I'm kind of shooting more for just really awesome performance. So. Um, but I mean, that's the great thing about the hobby is you kind of just find something that you like to do or things that about it that you like. And one of the things that I, I really love doing is taking these already amazing works of art uh, with this incredible engineering and and then trying to put my own my own twist or spin on it. I guess maybe just by by adding awesome parts and trying to either make them stronger, I guess, or just somewhat better. Uh, so it's always it's always a compromise. You know, uh, aluminum's great, but it's heavy and it's not very flexible. So, I mean, it's sometimes it helps and maybe sometimes it, it might not, and sometimes it might hurt. So it's kind of trying to find that balance point, I guess. Um, so, the X Max is just amazing. It's amazing out of the box. Uh, really, anything I do is just kind of a bonus. So uh, um, I'm looking forward to, to really taking this thing out and and seeing what it's capable of, uh, or just um, really really getting to know her. So uh, as far as like my final call on um, what you know I think about it. I mean, besides the fact that it's big. Uh, is I, I just I want some more time. I need more time. So I've only really gotten to to use it on my test track out back um, of my house where I have a couple of ramps that I that I use just to kind of go out and uh, you know run it, put it through its paces and, and and really test out the things and try to hone hone it in on on stuff. So um, so looking forward to just getting out some wide open spaces and just really seeing what it's capable of. So. Thanks for watching. This is FXRC. If you like what you see, subscribe. Hit the like button. Why not? It costs you nothing. It costs you nothing. Hit the button. Thank you. Thanks for watching.
hurting. <laughs> 